The ratio of the areas of two similar rectangles is 16 to 25. If the larger rectangle has a perimeter of 30 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the smaller rectangle? Looking at the notes below, if the ratio of the sides of two similar polygons is A to B, then the ratio of the perimeters is also A to B. However, if the ratio of the sides of two similar polygons is A to B, then the ratio of the areas is A squared to B squared. And because we are given the ratio of the areas as 16 to 25, this ratio is in the form of A squared to B squared, where the ratio of the perimeters is A to B, which means the ratio of the perimeters is four to five, because four squared equals 16, and five squared equals 25. However, let's say we did not remember this property of similar polygons, we should be able to use our problem solving skills to determine the ratio of the perimeters given the ratio of the areas. To keep things simple, because all squares are rectangles, let's use these two squares to model the ratio of the areas as 16 to 25. Let's assume the area of this square is 16 square units and the area of this square is 25 square units. We should be able to recognize if the area of this square is 16 square units, the length of each side would have to be four units. Again, because the area is equal to four times four, 16 square units. And if the area of this square is 25 square units, the length of each side must be five units. So now we can easily see the ratio of the corresponding sides is four to five, but let's verify the ratio of the perimeters is also four to five. The perimeter of the small square is equal to four times four, 16 units. The perimeter of the large square is equal to four times five, or 20 units. Which means the ratio of the perimeters, comparing the small square to the large square, is 16 to 20. And we simplify ratios, just like we simplify fractions. The greatest common factor between 16 and 20 is four. To simplify, we divide 16 and 20 by four. 16 divided by four is four. 20 divided by four is five, giving us the ratio of four to five for the perimeters. And now that we know the ratio of the perimeters, we can determine the perimeter of the smaller rectangle when the perimeter of the larger rectangle is 30 centimeters. We will do this by setting up a proportion where we set two ratios equal to each other. The ratio of the perimeters, which we know is four to five, must equal the ratio of the perimeters of the small rectangle to the large rectangle. And because the perimeter of the small rectangle is unknown, let's use a variable p for this perimeter, and the perimeter of the larger rectangle is 30 centimeters, giving us the ratio of p to 30. And we know these ratios must be equivalent, and because five times six is equal to 30, we multiply four by six to determine the missing perimeter. And because four times six is equal to 24, the missing perimeter, or the perimeter of the smaller rectangle is 24 centimeters. Let's write this as a complete sentence. The perimeter of the smaller rectangle is 24 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.